like to use a white pencil to mark the steel. It shows up on steel that has scale and on um, cold rolled material like this. Then I'll take a cold chisel and I'll mark a line. And I use that cold chisel mark as an indexing mark whenever the steel's hot. I can just drag it across the hot cut and it finds that line. It's a lot easier to find a mark like that when the steel is hot than a line you've drawn. So as the steel comes out and it's hot, I'll drag it across the, the hot cut and it'll index itself on that cold chisel mark. Then I just begin defining a line, cutting around the bar trying to keep that line even. Just work as slowly as you need to to get that line cut into the steel. More important to be straight than to be fast here. I'm going to take two heats to cut this piece off. Just work evenly, cutting from all sides, defining that cut. take another heat and cut it off. We will not be cutting this completely off on the hot cut. We're going to leave a small amount of material on the bar and we're going to break it over the edge of the anvil. If you try to cut all the way through on a hot cut, you end up shooting that hot piece of steel across the shop and quite often you hit the hot cut with your hammer and you have to regrind it. Just work evenly towards the center. Lighter and lighter blows as you go. Remove the hot cut. And then you just easily just break that piece off over the edge of the anvil. Just 